I am joined by ABC News contributor Richard Frankel, who is a former FBI special agent in charge. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Glad to be here. Thank you. So, first of all, what does this search warrant tell us about the case that the Department of Justice is building against former President Trump? That, that it's, a, it's, a, it's a real case that the FBI and Department of Justice are fully involved in this case. In, in other words, it's not just a whim. At this point, while we don't know if they found anything of criminality, um, in their opinion, and the judge, the magistrate judge agreed, uh, that they believe they have probable cause to believe that there were, um, that there was evidence of criminality at uh, uh, the president's address in Florida, and that that specific criminal, you know, uh, evidence was actually located there when the um, uh, agents executed their search warrant. Okay, but, you know, a lot of Republican critics right now are calling this politically motivated. What do you make of that? You know, uh, while it may have started as a political uh, um, uh, referral, um, I can't see it being a politically motivated case at this point in the sense that um, for them to show that they have the probable cause, and meaning the FBI and DOJ, that they have the probable cause, and that they took that, that, in my opinion, large step and actually went out and got a search warrant, you know, brought an affidavit, um, applied for the search warrant with the magistrate judge, had the magistrate judge sign off on it, and then executed it, knowing that mm -hmm. this would probably happen, that this would become, um, um, you know, the news of the day or of the week or of the year, um, and they still went forward. I can't see it being a politically motivated uh, search. Um, uh, I have to believe that the FBI, that DOJ, uh, believe that there is criminality, that there is evidence of criminality at the president's residence, and that they believe that that evidence was available to the FBI during the search warrant when they executed it. Sources are conforming to ABC, uh, confirming to ABC News that the FBI notified the U.S. Secret Service 45 minutes prior to their arrival. The local FBI field office in Miami also contacted the local C Secret Service office, which then notified other Secret Service personnel, but did not tell the staff at Mar-a-Lago. Also, we are learning tonight that the Secret Service escorted the FBI in and maintained normal security positioning, but did not participate. So what does all of that information tell you? And is that standard? That, that actually is standard. Whenever the FBI um, knows and that they know that there is uh, a, a, another law enforcement agency, whether it's local law enforcement, um, state law enforcement or federal law enforcement, such as, you know, this, yeah, the, the United States Secret Service, um, they will give notice immediately before the execution of the search warrant so that you don't have a blue-on-blue -blue confrontation. Um, mm -hmm. You may be able to uh, um, alleviate some of the issues when the FBI immediately shows up with that search warrant. In other words, being, you know, kept at the door while the Secret Service checks to make sure that there are, you know, that there are no issues about um, admitting the FBI. All of these were probably worked out uh, in those 45 minutes. And, and this is probably not the first time where the FBI and the Secret Service have um, uh, uh, collided, so to speak, uh, during an investigation. There could have been other cases in the right. past where uh, Secret Service uh, 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 entities um, are being, are being um, searched by the FBI. Right. So there certainly is a protocol in place there. So now, what information do you think would President Trump and his legal team have right now? I mean, what do you think the FBI is really looking for, in your opinion? I, I think they're looking for the actual evidence of those documents. Um, you know, it, it, again, it has to be very specific in the search warrant what they're looking for. Um, and it has to correlate to the crime that w they're investigating. So uh, from what we understand, um, it's related to the uh, documents that the president um, is alleged to have taken from the White House when he left office. Again, doesn't prove that the president has committed a crime. It just show, goes for the probable cause that there's evidence of a crime at the location. Thank you so much, ABT, ABC News contributor and former special agent in charge, Richard Frankel. Our thanks to you. Thank you.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.